Okay. Um, in the in this last section, we will finally be able to talk about electric potential difference. Okay, so this is an important um, factor in making sure that charges move around. This is actually the reason why charges are able to move around um, in a circuit or along the circuit continuously. So in this section, we will discuss why electric potential difference is needed for those charges to move around the circuit. Um, but first, we have to give some definitions, no? Okay. So, let's say you have, I think you saw this on the previous one, previous quiz. Um, we have a test charge that is going to be moved from point A to point B. So, against the direction of the electric field. So, you're moving it closer to the source charge. Um, you need work to do that. This work um, will increase the potential energy of the object. So, ang point B ang may greatest potential energy. We also understood that kung nasaan man yung greatest potential energy, that's also the point of or the greatest potential location because electric potential is just potential energy divided by the magnitude of charge. Okay? That's their only difference. Masabi din natin na yung point A is the low potential and the point B is the high potential. So, kita natin na between them, there's a difference in electric potential. This difference in electric potential is represented by the symbol delta V and is formally referred to as the electric potential difference. So, delta V is the difference between um, the potential at point B minus or it, or it is the uh, potential on point B or at point B minus difference um, the potential at point A. The potential at the final position minus the potential at the initial position. Remember a while ago, we said that um, potential energy or electric potential rather is joules per coulomb or the change in potential energy divided by the magnitude of charge. There's obviously a change, diba? Because, for example, in this case, there's an increase in potential energy. So there's a change in potential energy. But we also understand that the increase is only possible or was done due to the work done on the charge. So the change is equal to the work. So now we have this um, many equations for potential difference. Okay. Now, um, the unit is volts. Alessandro Volta, if you know that person. So volts is... Um, hmm, this is wrong. Joules per coulomb. It is joules per coulomb. That's why um, potential difference, especially in later topics, may be called uh, voltage. Okay? Volts. If the potential difference between two points is one volt, ibig sabihin, if um, a charge is moved around those two points, move from low to high potential point, every coulomb, every one coulomb of charge will gain... 1 joules of energy. Now, if charges are moved from point D to point A, since the voltage rating of the battery is 12 volts, every 1 coulomb of charge will gain 12 joules of energy. And that's that energy is really important because you will be powering up this light bulb in this particular circuit. So finally, let's try to discuss um, what's the role of voltage or what's the role of potential difference in a simple circuit but first uh, what are the parts of a uh, circuit of the circuit so obviously you have the battery here the charge pump and then you, you have wires you have to connect the battery to the light bulb which is the electric load or the circuit element na you have to do work on para siya yung milaw diba? So, you have actually two forms of circuit. So, you have the internal and you have the external. External, the external circuit is composed of the wires and the electric load or the light bulb. So, that means yung nasa labas, di ba? And then, the internal circuit is actually um, yung loob ng battery. Internal. So, the internal circuit, part of the circuit where energy is being supplied to the charge. And then, external circuit, 
is the part of the circuit where charge is moving outside the cells, the battery cells, through the wires on its path from high potential terminal and the low potential terminal. You will see that batteries have ano, no, positive and negative terminals. When we say, um, when we are referring to the positive terminal, actually, that's the terminal that is kept um, positively charged. Okay? And then the negative terminal is, of course, the terminal that is kept negatively charged. So, there are negative charges on. There's an excess in negative charges on that part. Um, the battery is able to do that through the chemical reactions that is happening 